it is time for more epic fighting game moves. What's up guys, Nick here and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at some of Sergei Dragunov's moves as requested. As you know, tech and fighting moves are heavily exaggerated and heavily stylized, but they are based on real moves. And Dragunov's moves are apparently sambo based. Which is just judo when you add Russia and mix it with a little bit of steroids. To be honest, Ramsey Dewey did a similar video which is actually better, so go watch that one instead. But if you chose to stick around, let's get into it. So, first move, using a Kimura grip to get to a flying armbar. There are variations of this move found in Judo, BJJ and of course Sambo. And this could be modified to make a great counter to a single leg takedown. Next up we have a fireman's carry. It is a pretty cool throw actually. And can be highly successful. It works better when you shoot lower and keep your posture up. I don't know why Ibrahim was so soft on that kick, he could have made it look more real. Cool, a belly down arm bar from an arm drag. Also a pretty sweet move. Any two on one grip like an arm drag can be used to pull guard in Jiu Jitsu. So you're pulling your opponent down while you're kicking the knee. This move can work, but it's not going to be high percentage. This is a great and easy takedown to pull off. I just wouldn't finish with such a poor leg lock. This move looks cool and all, but it wouldn't really work. Just the grips at the end, you're not gonna get any form of neck crank or strangulation. And it doesn't matter how hard you squeeze with your legs. This rolling entry to a knee bar is awesome. You would see a lot of knee bars like this in Pancrase back in the day. This entry would be great if somebody grabbed you from behind. It was one of those popular moves that they used to teach when Grappling became quite a big thing. This entry to the knee ball is quite similar to the Imanari roll. And as we know, the Imanari roll has had a great impact on MMA and grappling. I would just finish with a different leg lock just because this knee bar is a bit more difficult to pull off because getting the alignment right to actually put strain on the knee is quite difficult. And this is just beating the shit out of somebody when you have locked in that arm. The only thing here that is useless is that double axe handle at the very end. Now, this is a very cool double leg takedown to a entry to a variation of the neck crank. However, giving up the body lock position that has been established there does give somebody a chance to tackle, say, half guard and actually attack back.
Now this is the most disgusting leg entanglement that I have seen. It lacks control and it can be very easy to defend against. As demonstrated next. Okay. So, we just made the leg entanglement a little bit better to finish the straight angle. No, 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 I am not going to beat my friend like that, okay? No, but if you're into that sort of thing, then maybe we should start an OnlyFans. Ugh, a standing shoulder lock. I'm too lazy to waste my time. Cool. A modified sumigashi to an armbar. To be honest, I use a shoulder lock sumigashi type of technique for, for jujitsu. But go watch some judo fights, you'll definitely find this technique there. Another form of leg lock that can be done and it can work. But it can be done better, but we just copied it as is. That Steven Seagal stuff does not work. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Go watch a movie of his instead. Catching a leg and putting it into a leg throw. In pro wrestling, we call this a leg drag. It is possible to pull off, but very difficult. Definitely not a high chance of landing this. You can attempt it, but you're going to get the snot beaten out of you. But we're going to do it anyway. So we came to the end of the video. There was more footage, but we had a bit of a recording issue, so we lost a lot of it. So if you want a part two, please comment down below and we'll record more. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This really does help the channel, especially as I am not as active as I should be. And I would really like this channel to grow. Please take the time and check out my other videos. So until next time, take care.